Beautiful day, sunny, no clouds, wind only about five miles an hour, it's about three o'clock right now, I just got out here, so let's we'll see what we can do. As far as tackle, I have a browning rod, it's about six foot, medium action, nice rod, I just picked it up yesterday at local Bass Pro Shops, and it came with a reel too, so it's a browning reel, rod combo. And I got some Suffolk Explore Carbon Line on, six pound test. And as far as my lure, I have a 1 16th ounce red hook jig head with a sort of, it's like a blue and chartreuse and white glitter spotted tail, curly tail grub. And it's been pretty effective. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it works. Coming up. Trolling is an excellent method because if you're going in the wind, it's kind of hard to cast. So if you're going in a steady direction and you find the fish, oh, that was one right there. If you're on a steady, steady pace. The wind's going, it's a lot easier. So when you're trolling, you try to catch a few crappie. I've had a couple hits on here. There's another one. Anyway. He's a little guy, but you gotta start somewhere, I guess. Mm. Bye, little guy. 
basically all I'm doing is I'm throwing right behind me. And I'm slowly trolling the controller motor up here. Just so tap it off the bottom. About 10 11 feet around here, so. Seems like I've been getting a bunch of bumps. Most of them are small. Once you weed out the small ones, you get into the big ones. The small ones are a lot more aggressive than the big ones. So the young, the big ones, and the competitors, they just wait for their meal to come to them. These fish are so sweet. If cooked right, have nice speckles on them, clean. Have a mild flavor, really. They're just beautiful fish, you know. Mm. Guy again. Oh man, why did you hit my stuff? He's a little. Yeah, give you some chicken. Yeah, he got off. No, he did. Just a little. Little cute one. So for my tackle box, it's not the prettiest, it's not the cleanest, but it's very organized, you see. I have all my jigs, my different jig heads, and different sizes and things. And
Alright, so we were having we were still having a few bumps every now and then up front. But I kinda wanted to try something different, so I drove about about a half a mile back. And start fishing the gator holes. This is what you call the gator hole. It's, it's the same length but it's a lot away from all the people find your own little spot but I've been fishing this lake since I was very young so I, I know how to find my way around it and stuff but it's a lot better fishing back here especially if you know what you're doing it's a lot more species bigger fish up front you get the higher depths into the 10 to 20 feet back here it's not as high you can find some 8 foot foot holes. Mostly around six foot. Find a six foot hole that drops off into about eight foot, it'll be good. It should supply a limited amount of fish for you, but we're gonna see what we can do. These fish back here are actually darker too, since they're not living in this deep water. See how much darker that fish is? Good size. Well, it's that time of the day again. It's almost dark. And we did pretty good. Probably caught about 15 to 20 of them. Overall, there's never such a thing as bad day fishing. Yeah, I think we're gonna head in, call it a day.